so you want to go into your WordPress dashboard and download the Nextend Google Connect plugin. You can just search Nextend Google. And then in your plugin list, go to Settings. And then I have a directions here, but the link they have at the top there doesn't work because Google has just updated their platform. Uh, but you're going to go to console.developers.google.com slash project. Create a project. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. They're going to create a, a project ID for you. And then you click create. This is going to take like 30 seconds. So uh, if you're hungry, grab a sandwich. Uh, if you're not, uh, you can listen to me breathe. Actually, um, Google has the, the hardest process for installing a, um, a login button, uh, but uh, that's the breaks. Okay, so once your uh, project has been created, you're going to go to APIs on the left there, and then uh, click on APIs. Okay, you're going to see four of them turned on, but you want to scroll down to Google Plus API. So it's alphabetical. And you're going to see it right there. And then just click the off button to turn it on. And then when you scroll back up, you'll see it right there on now. All right, then you're going to go to credentials on the left. And click create new client ID. All right, we're going to do a web application, so that's already checked off at the top. You add uh, the website that you wanted. This is going to be like the root domain at the top there, and then the authorized URL. You're going to go back to your dashboard, scroll down to number eight, and copy this uh, URL. Go back and paste it into the redirect URL and then click the, the green button. And so it's creating your ID and your secret. But don't tell anybody it's a secret. And then you want to click uh, Create New Key and you're going to enter your URL here, just your main root domain. You want to be sure to add the HTTP colon backslash backslash. And then you'll get your API key there. So you're going to have to enter, you're going to have to copy and paste all three of these, the client ID, the secret, and the API key. And so you go back to your dashboard and you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And at the top there where it says Google Client ID, paste that in there. Go back to the Google project, copy the secret, paste that in there. And then you're going to go to your API key and copy that. Paste that bad boy in there. And then you scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes. And then log out of your dashboard so you can see what it looks like. Google Plus. And that's it. We're all set.